Isn't it just beautiful? All the creatures in this world, the dozens of flowers in all their colors, different species in all their majestic glory, unique shades, patterns and intricate designs, so much natural beauty right before our eyes. But in all this hustle and bustle, we don't always realize. So today, stop and ponder, take a moment and enjoy the simple things in life. In the last video, I thrifted these items and I gave the small vase a makeover. Today, I'm going to be giving the big vase a makeover. And for this vase here, I'm just going to go ahead and spray paint it using this spray paint that I brought from Poundland. This does show through still a little bit, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to be covering that anyway. And I'm going to do that with a tablecloth. I did buy this from Morrison's. So I'm going to start by cutting some of the tablecloth. So just go ahead and cut out the bits that you want. And because this is quite thick, I am going to apply a small amount of water, just a thin layer before I apply my Mud Podge. I'm going to go in with some Mud Podge now. And we're going to stick that down. Once you're happy with your vase and how it looks, we're going to start working at the top. So take a foam brick and cut it to size. And then just pop that into place inside your vase. To cover our foam brick and just make it look prettier, I'm going to put some hot glue with some green moss on top of here and maybe just coming down onto the vase a little. So now I've finished the moss and put it all on top so we've covered all of that foam brick and I'm going to take my artificial flowers and arrange them and we shouldn't need to use any hot glue, you should be able just to put them inside of the foam brick. to take some flowers that actually match the vase itself so add some colour to this arrangement I went on Google and I typed in vintage bee and I selected the image that I wanted made sure that it's a really small size and I printed it on some card. I'm going to cut that out and then we're going to attach this to some wire and then put it into our floral arrangement. And here's the finished DIY. I think that this is probably going to mark the end of my summer DIYs which I'm pretty sad about because I really do love decorating for summer but I already have started some autumn crafts and I think I just need to carry them on now seeing as we are getting into autumn and then Halloween. But yeah, I really did enjoy decorating these vases and giving them a new life. I think that it's just so much better than them getting thrown away. So I hope that this has given you some inspiration and that you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, you know what to do. Do leave me a thumbs up and a comment and make sure you are subscribed to my channel for more crafty goodness. Take care of yourselves and thank you so much for watching and for all your support. I really do appreciate it and until the next DIY, bye for now.